Hey honey, how are you? Is everything okay? You're not feeling too well? Okay, what's going on? You have a headache? Uh-huh. And an itchy head as well. Oh no. Okay, do you have a nurse pass? Thank you. Okay, uh, who's your teacher? And that's fourth grade. And you said you've been having an itchy head. And how long has this been going on for? Okay. Alright, love. Well, we are going to have to do a lice check on you in that case. Let me check your temperature, though. Since you said you are having headaches. Let's see. Let me check. Aside from the headaches and the itchy head, how are you doing? You're doing good in school? Okay, good job. Okay, just stay, 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 stay. Okay, well, it doesn't look like you have a fever or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and check your head, okay? And see what's going on, why you're feeling itchy. So go ahead and just sit down right here and get comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few things that I'm going to need. And I'll be right back, okay? So just relax, get comfortable. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, sweetie, I'm back and I brought all of the stuff that I need. I'm going to start with the lice check. Do you mind if I remove your little headband? Going to, I'm just going to set this aside, okay? And I'm quickly just going to take a look. I'm going to use my flashlight. literally spent hours and hours um, with each kid applying the treatment plucking out each bug yeah it was a hot mess it was a hot mess but don't worry okay okay so I'm going to take just these wooden sticks to kind of help me move my way around your hair So have you ever had lice before? You have not. Okay. So I do see a few lice in your head, love, unfortunately. But do not worry. I'm going to I'm going to be applying a special medicine on your scalp that is going to kill all of the lice and all of the eggs, okay? So yeah, and don't worry, love, don't be embarrassed. Like I said, last month, all of the third graders had lice. Yes, even the bald ones. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to really quick educate you on lice, love. Um, just because you said you've never had lice. So lice, like I said, are very tiny little insects that you can barely see. They're very, very small. Okay, I'll show you one once I pull it out, okay? If you want to. Um... But they're very little tiny insects, and like I said, they suck blood um, out of your scalp to survive, basically. Um, but they are very easily spread, okay? And they spread with head-to-head -head contact or hair-to-hair -hair contact, which, do not worry, I'm actually wearing a lice preventative shampoo, so I don't get lice love yet. Um... So don't worry about my hair, but yeah, usually like if you have somebody that's like really close to you and they have lice, lice will crawl onto the other person's head. Yeah. They don't jump or anything like that. That's just a myth. They actually just crawl. 
yeah, but they crawl very, very fast, so they can move very, very fast through the strands of hair. Um, and then also, they can also be spread by sharing your belongings. Yes, so that means like hairbrushes, combs, headbands, pillows, clothing even. Um, so you have to be very careful with that. Um, try not to share any hairbrushes or anything like that. So like I said, I do have a treatment that we have here in our clinic. It's an oil. It's a hair oil. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really rub it into your scalp okay i'm gonna rub it into your scalp leave it in there for about five minutes it pretty much kills all of the lice and all of the eggs instantly um all of the eggs will just fall off on their own but as far as the lice i will have to go in and actually pluck them out um but i think i counted about 10 or 12 of them so there's not a whole lot you're not really like infested infested um like you know the third graders last month but um, there are still a few okay so we're gonna get started love so just relax okay just take a deep breath everything's gonna be okay i'm here with you i'm gonna take care of you and you're gonna be fine okay Alright, so here is the oil. Okay, honey, so I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to drip this onto the scalp. Yeah, so just relax. I'm going to do about 50 drops, yes, sir. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. So now, put on some gloves just because I don't want um, to get all the treatment on my fingers and under my nails and all that. It's just very oily so your hair is going to be oily after this love. Um, so you're going to want to go home and take a shower. I will be sending you back to class um, but once you do get home I'm also going to be sending a letter home to your parents. That way they can um, buy you a treatment, like a separate treatment. They sell them at like Walmart or Walgreens and stuff like that. And they can put and they can shampoo your hair with it at home. Just so that we are 100% sure that there isn't any more bugs, okay? And this oil, like I said, is very powerful. It kills the lice pretty much instantly yeah it kills them instantly and it does not damage your hair it actually has like vitamin e and all these vitamins for your hair it has rosemary oil it's actually pretty good for your hair and your scalp so well, that's good because a lot of lice treatments can be very damaging to the hair but you're not gonna have to worry about that here okay
Okay, so now that that's on your hair, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. take that off. And I'm going to grab my flashlight. That way I can start plucking out the bugs, okay? I'm just going to use my nails. So, okay, so I found our first victim. Okay, look, so I'm just going to show you the first slice. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's disgusting. Okay. Yeah, just because you wanted to see what it looked like. Alright, let's see. Yeah, they're pretty gross. They're pretty, pretty gross. See another one. Please let me know if at any point you get uncomfortable love, okay? I know I'm like moving your head around, kind of being a little bit aggressive, but it's because the lice actually crawl really, really fast. So when I see one, I have to kind of like hurry up and grab it before I lose it, okay? So, but please let me know if I'm being way too aggressive and I'll try to be a little more gentle, okay? Okay, so now we're going to check um, behind your ears because that's... And I'm going to turn you over so that we can check the other ear, okay?
So now I'm going to turn you over that way we can check the bottom part of your head because that's another hot spot. So I'm gonna flip you over this way, love. Okay, so I'm just gonna need you to look down for me. Yes, thank you. And I found a few more. Okay, so just relax. I'm gonna just poke it off. And... Okay. and we found another one. Alright, honey, I think we're done. Okay, so now you can go ahead and pick your head back up. Sorry about that, yeah. That one was tough. So now I'm just going to go ahead and um, comb your hair. And just kind of give it another quick look. I'm just going to make sure we got all of them. Okay, sweetie, it looks like you're all good. You do still have a few eggs here and there, but like I said, they're all dead. Mm -hmm. So once you go home and shower, they'll just like fall right off. But we're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and just put your headband back on. Oh, but before we put it on, I do want to make sure that there isn't any. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, look, do you see this? Yes, that is a huge lice. If I would have put this back on your head, you would have been infested again. Yes, so, so I want you to go home and just check all your headbands, all your hairbrushes. I want you to go home and thoroughly wash them and make sure that none of them have any bugs on them. And if they do, wash them off or throw them away. Um, but just make sure you go home and check all of that. Yeah, so I'm going to send a letter home with your mom explaining um, the instructions on what to do next. Uh, so if you can just go ahead and sit down right over there. I'm going to type out the letter for her and then I'll give you your nurse pass back so you can get back to class, okay? Okay, honey, so here's your nurse pass so you can get back to class and don't forget to give your parents that letter, okay? It's very important. All right, honey, and don't be embarrassed. It can happen to anyone. All right? Okay, well, I'm glad I was able to help you. I hope you have a good rest of your day at school, and I'll see you around.